was all that squawking. Oh my goodness. Looks like my parrot is awake. Hey, babe. What are you doing up so early? Huh? Did the outside birds wake you up? You want to come out? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, look how weird the clouds are this morning. It's like totally dark. What do you think of the weather, Skeeter? Think it's going to rain? Okay, come on. Step up. We're going to go downstairs now, okay? Let's start the day. Hey, Skeeter. Look, it's your new coconut toy. Did you find something cool inside? Because parrots are so highly intelligent, uh, it's really beneficial to move their toys around on a regular basis and give them to give them new experiences. Or else they kind of go mental, kind of like us. We are, uh, to best of our knowledge, Skeeter's third home, and uh, he's a bit of a problem child, but. But he's come a long way when it comes to interacting with his toys. He used to be very fearful of them and just not knowing what to do. And one thing that we have found that works is uh, put some of his favorite treats in a new toy and then it's not so scary. Okay, so I've been uh, writing uh, calligraphy for several hours now, and yeah. Um, because I'm so out of practice, my wrist and everything gets really tight, and so, um, yeah, my it just... And my neck's totally out of joint, um, because, uh, well, it's been kind of crunched over with bad posture. But, that being said, I feel that, you know, practice does help, and I think I'm finally getting the hang of this thing. Because what I've been doing is I've been writing each letter, uh, both upper and lower case each, 20 times on lined paper that I'd lined, that I lined with pencil. And um, then when I'm done, I erase the pencil line so it looks really, really fancy. But yeah, if you do each letter, um, both upper and lower case, 20 times each, that's over a thousand letters, individual letters that you have to... And it's taken me, oh, I don't know, at least an hour to do a page, which just shows how painstakingly slow I'm going. And there's lots of really cool calligraphic fonts out there, but I'll show you the reason why I'm trying to master this particular one. Uh, because I, I really um, enjoy doing natural history style Victorian illustration. Uh, and this is a feather. But there's only one problem, and that is that the uh, writing I'm using is actually more from the 20th century. This is, um, at least during the age when uh, the um, great explorers had already passed on, but this is uh, a kind of script writing. I called it font earlier, but a kind of handwriting or uh, script uh, called the Palmer Method, which is, is close, but still not quite as nice. I don't know if you can see my, these are hanging in my very ill-lit studio at the moment. Um, but you get the idea. It's not bad. Not bad at all. But I am a freakish perfectionist, and I feel that it could be better. As you can see, I even tried doing it um, not only in my watercolor work, but in my uh, oils. I tried to write this all out in uh, using a brush. So, yeah. And this is a little closer to what I'm trying to teach myself right now, but it's still not the 18th century style writing. I just think if I can manage to pull it off, it'll take my work up even better bit bore. So, yeah. And I'll be happy with it. It's shower time. You like your shower time, huh, Skeeter? Yep, we actually have a special perch made for him. I know, spoiled bird. <laughs> but yeah, he, uh, if he was in the wild, he'd get monsoon-type rains this time of year, and it feels really good on his dried-out feathers. Don't fall asleep. Alright.
morning everybody. We are at Fossil Creek Reservoir this morning. Me and my painting partner in crime, Christine. Say hi Christine! Hi Christine! <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> we heard there's a storm coming so we thought we'd uh, get in a painting this morning before uh, the thunder rolled in. The thunder! <laughs> if you watched our last uh, painting adventure we were we were just about zotted out of existence by some lightning so all right, this looks like a good spot, and uh, I think we're going to set up and do a quick one. Okay, well, I got my sky laid in here, roughly. I think I'm happy with it. All right, so when people say, you know, well, I can't paint a straight, I mean, a draw up straight line, I say, well, guess what? I'm an artist. I just tell them I can't either. That's why I use tape and other tricks to uh, do horizon lines. So. Wipe that up and let it dry for a few minutes. Let's go over and bother Christine. Yeah, don't bother me. Oh, nice! Yeah, not really. Oh, it's just the beginning. Okay, get out of my painting! Go. <laughs> the bugs are everywhere. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. Freak. Yeah, this is a great so place for cloud watching, no doubt about it. I know, we're going to have some big thunder boomers. Thunderstorm! Okay, I think that should have dried. Ooh, I can't do this single handed. Maybe I can. Ah, there we go. Whoop, look at that. Alright, and now for the next layer, and I will see you guys in just a minute. Have fun! Okay, well, we're almost finished, but as you can see, I've got all of these trees with the foliage just floating, hovering in the air. And that's because I haven't put the branches in yet. I usually uh, put those in last, so Let's see how it goes. How's it going over here, X-Teen? Oh. Looking good, looking good. And the storm clouds are taking their time building up over the mountains, so that's good too. Okay, so the thunderstorm is finally moving in and I'm going to call it a wrap. Good enough. Okay, I'm a woman on a mission today. I, um, for a watercolor project I'm working on, I need a Zacto knife. And a Zacto knife, if you don't know what it is, it's like this teeny tiny little razor blade that you use for precision cutting. And I have one, but where, but where in the world it went, I have no idea. I've turned my studio upside down, I've turned my house upside down, so I guess I'm just going to go and buy a new one. So come along with me, we'll go get the knife, we'll come back, and you'll get to see what, um, what I'm working on right now. So, let's go. Alright. And here we are. Normally I'm not a huge big box store fan, but I'm running out of time and this place is just up the road from ours, so. Hi. All right. Wow, they come with LED lights now. That's different. Ooh, this is a cool innovation. It actually retracts back into the handle. I like that. That's cool. Hmm, but is it three dollars more cool than the normal one? Hmm. Okay, well, I got my Zachary knife, but check out what I found in the parking lot. It's the first rose of the year! Yep, little rose hanging out in a very ugly parking lot. A little bit of beauty.